Hello everyone, it's Annette Green. Welcome back. This is my weekly planner. This is my memory keeping planner for 2023 in my Elizabeth Craft Designs Vintage Black full size planner here. And every week I am documenting a little something on one page and we are all the way up here to week number 16. Uh, if you joined me last week, we had fun little bloopers at the end. So if you missed it, you might want to go back. Uh, it was pretty cute. A uh, couple of guys at the end. So today is all about my week 16, which was really a very uneventful week as far as anything exciting happening. But uh, what I did do all week is kit for classes. I have a class coming up in Florida uh, in just a few weeks and I am kidding, kidding, kidding. And so that's what it's about this week. So if you're new, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Uh, I always show that this is how I do my photos and I have a great video that I will link below as to um, how I go about this, what program I use, all the details. Uh, I do use a Canon printer. It is a Canon printer, the PIXMA TR8620. I mean, it's a little bit older now, but it's a very good printer. Uh, I use glossy photo paper right here at home and I size my photos just the size that I need them. And I'd always do two of each in yeah, just a little bit different size, just in case I want it a little bigger, I wanna crop it a little tighter. So here you go, I'm gonna do three photos this time. Okay, and although I don't have the samples to show you anymore, uh, this is a picture of a four card set that we're going to make in the class. And also we're gonna make a little notebook with spiral uh, rings on it. And so I took a picture of my samples and I took a picture of me like kidding as far as the materials that were on my desk. And so that's what I'm gonna focus on today. I think I'm going to use the photos as the kickoff to what papers and colors I want to use. So you can see I have a lot of stuff ready over here. Um, I am using 49 and Markets Countryside Collection a little bit older collection now, but um, it was perfect for the card set that we're gonna do. And I had some scraps left over after I was kidding and cutting and everything. So I thought I'm gonna use those and I'm actually gonna use uh, one of the layered Bs in the layout this time, just as it appears in one of the cards in the class. So we're gonna learn how to put together the B as well. Um, but I am gonna get this decorative little extra fussy cut piece down here first. And what I'm thinking, I got all these little pieces that came together there. I'm thinking that's gonna go over there and I'm thinking I'm gonna do one of my small doilies for my release down here. Uh, maybe leaving a little space for some journaling there and then put the B there and it's gonna be all layered up and colorful and pretty. Uh, it is a right-hand page, so I'm probably gonna add some whole reinforcements here. These are from the reinforcement variety pack three, two, sorry. <laughs> I'll link everything below just in case I get it wrong. Uh, and I'm gonna use my new postage stamp die for all my photos. So I have this red picked out, which I think would be great. Uh, and I think I'm gonna go there with that one and turn this one. Nope, this one's gonna go this way, I think. I'm looking over at my photos over here, my main photos. And this one will probably kind of stagger and overlap a little bit there. And then one more, maybe somewhere around here. I don't know yet, but I have grabbed the photo mats that go with those photo frames, the next size down uh, than the postage stamp. And I'm actually gonna die cut my photos with these, which works fine. Sometimes it doesn't cut all the way through, but it does a very good job of getting mostly through. So that's the plan there. I do have to get my 16 worked in there somewhere. So I've already die cut that. And I got all my pieces and parts to my B over here. So let me go ahead and die cut my photos and I'll be back to kind of put this together. Okay, and just so you can see, you see where it's been die cut? It doesn't cut all the way through. If I had maybe run it through twice or if I used the precision base plate or whatever that one is for more intricate dies. Um, it probably would have cut through on the first pass, but I'm just gonna quickly run over this 
just to finish off the cut with my craft knife and that's a-okay so that's gonna go there looks good and then I'll finish these other two And just as I was putting adhesive on the back and starting to get these down, I decided I needed a little, little tiny thin bit of a black edge. So I am not using the die for this because I just want it to be a little tiny bit bigger than the photo, not quite as much as the die does which is more like an eighth. So this is more like a sixteenth. And I think that's going to make it pop and stand out a little bit better on the postage stamp. So I'm going to do that to all three of these. Right. So I went ahead and I got my whole reinforcements on there. And I did add my fussy cuts. And of course I covered the holes. So I have to go back and repunch those guys out. I'm just using my crocodile with the largest hole. Okay, looks good. And I've got my little photos. Not exactly sure where they'll land positively, but I'm just kind of getting a plan. And I got my 16. I don't want to forget over here. I don't know if I want it red anymore now that I see all this red here. Uh, I think I want it black. So probably going to change that out. Uh, and then I've got my big B and I've got my doily. And I know that the B is going to be brown on one of the cards, the base of the B, but I think I'm going to change that to black as well, just so everything kind of goes nicely together. So I'm going to make those changes real quick. Sometimes you just make those changes on the spot, you know? So let me do, go cut another B out. Okay, yes, I do think that's going to be a lot better, don't you? The 16 in kind of a black color and the base of my B in black. So let's go ahead and assemble the B before we get too far. And so what I have done is I've die cut the pieces with some coordinating paper to that countryside collection. And so this is the body of the bee, of course. And that always goes down first. Now the layered bee has a lot of pieces and you could certainly keep it really simple or you can use all the pieces to layer up all kinds of stuff. I think I'm using uh, mostly all of the layers today. But as I've shown in the past with this particular die, there are options where you can keep it really simple. Okay, so because our wings are this pretty kind of patterned red paper and it has that decorative cutaway in the center, we could put that right on the black. That looks pretty cool, but I want to put it on this cream color. And I'm going to do that with the second little tiny wing here as well. And you'll see how that looks when we get that ready. So get those on there real quick. All right, we'll get in a little closer so you can see. Uh, you could stop with just this one large wing here and I'll show you. Everything just lines right on up to the base B, so it's super easy. Uh, you could stop right there with the two big wings, and that's super pretty. But if you want to kind of go one step further, you can put that little wing, which is how it's been designed. But, you know, you have options. You can take this little wing, and, I mean, I've seen... Some people using vellum for the wings and curling this bottom one up, um, fanning it out a little bit more, but really that's how that looks. It's kind of sweet when you layer it up like that. Okay, and my phone kind of died on me, so I have to I had to go ahead and put the eyes on without you watching me, but 
the eyes are there and you can put something in the center but it's already black so I'm just going to leave that as is it's really cute so far and then um, I've mentioned this in other videos before when I've talked about this dye it's hard to see on camera right now but there are these little score lines if I hold it just right I think you can see them right so that is where you would use those as your guide for the little stripies and yes I'm going to ink every one of these little bits I have some double-sided adhesive on the back and I'm using my wonderful um, fine pointed tweezers from Elizabeth Crafts to get this on here they're perfect for that um, but just going to get that lined up on the bottom and then work my way up with the rest of these body stripes so I'll do one more and it's a little tedious so I'm sure you don't want to watch me do all of them but I'll just do one more and even if you couldn't see those um, score lines you pretty much just lay it where it meets end to end on the body so so far that's how it's looking okay finally we have this little decorative chest plate piece let's call it that goes right there and my bee is done and he's so cute so cute okay so let's zoom back out and I still have things just kind of laying over here because I want to get an idea with this doily. This is this one of the three sized uh, small doilies. We have the large doily set and then the small doilies have three. And I think I just want to leave a little space in here somewhere just to say, you know, something about kidding. All with kits, kits, kits. So I think it's going to go down there in the corner and I kind of have my plan here. And I'm also thinking, uh, going back to some of my scraps over there getting another green leaf and putting it up here so I think I'm gonna hunt something down get this all on the page and come back and show you what I've done okay I've got mostly everything on here I'm gonna hold off on the B for a second trim off this excess I did find a leaf over there so I put that up here gives it some nice balance with the green opposing green and then we'll trim this little doily off okay then we've got our bee and I think I'll scooch her over here Yes, just to leave a little bit of room over here to do my journaling. All right, I do apologize. Um, my microphone, as I played it back just now, I was kind of listening back to see what I said last. And it's kind of goofing up today. I don't know what was going on there, so I apologize. Sometimes I just have trouble like that. So as you can see, I am... Uh, I did do my journaling down here and I ended in a weird way like with that single word kind of hanging down there so I added a little sunflower rub on from the collection and also added one up here since I had them out and these are from 49 and market just with the same collection of course everything matches and goes together and now I feel like it's complete it looks full and nice down here as well so there we go week 16 is done uh, doesn't look anything or match uh, with week 15 but that's not the point that's not how I do it it's week by week so it doesn't bother me one bit I think it's a very pretty page and it's done so thank you for watching week 16 and I hope to see you next week take care